Hey people, how you doing? Um, I just wanted to say that this intro has always been without any talking or anything. Um, but I had to remove my in-store audio because of a copyright claim. It's not all um, silent, it's just, uh, just the in-store stuff and this intro. So I did a little voiceover. Anyway, enjoy. Interesting uh, setup fact. When you are laying out um, Legos kind of like this before you start your build, don't try to blow a little dust off of the ones that are right here because that just knocks everything like that, like a sand art piece. And then you're busy picking little pieces of sand back out of your piece. Just a pro tip for you, cause I just, man, I just screwed myself so badly over one little piece of dust <laughs> that you would probably not see at this height. Uh, anyway, let's get on with this build. One further note that I'd like to uh, talk about before I get into building anything um, is that it has, it does have a sticker sheet with I think seven different uh, decals that are going to have to go on. Um, and I've already put the driver together and all of the little bits. They give you a helmet, a wrench, an extra um, visor, and the driver is a woman. Yay! There it is. Um, all right, let's put this piece together. It's important to take a lot of breaks. I like to cuddle with my fan. You're really feeling like you're missing out, aren't you? Um, I thought I would, um, instead of using all the magic of video at my disposal, I, I thought I would stop for a minute and uh, show you that we do take breaks with this stuff and it's important that you do too sitting down to do a build um even like of this size um you know you should take your time with it a you should take your time with it because it costs a lot of money and part of the fun of this thing is actually building it first um but Secondly, um, you can reach stages of burnout when you're building. And so I haven't said this on a Lego video in a little while, but um, take breaks, hydrate, be right back. So, uh, What do you like to do? Comment below. By the way, um, if you have seen my subscribe video um, and were offended, I, I'm, I apologize. Just trying to give people a, a show. You know, you really got, you got to dig deep. Anyway, 
like to thank everybody who hit like on that video and uh, shared it around. Please do. It's here on our channel page. Um, and uh, feel free because we can use all the subscribers we can get right now. Um, your subscription really help. Anyway, I, I'm not a PBS station. I, I am just asking, please subscribe. Thanks a lot. Let's get back to the fun. Cataloging every bit of this. Luke, I am your father. You got it right. Um, anyway, I'm just like, uh, I'm cooling off for a minute here. If you don't mind. It's really hot under these lights. Well, folks, that's what happens around here. Sometimes you're the bat, sometimes you're the ball. And today, I'm the ball. What can I tell you? Time got away from me tonight. Maybe tomorrow, folks, maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna go break up a cat fight now. See you later. Sometimes I think jazz musicians, sometimes I just think they're taking the piss. <laughs> like here, let's see how long they'll sit around and listen to this. <laughs> let's see if we can get anybody to buy a ticket to come hear this. Let's go. George Gershwin have a stroke, apparently. Mm. Nothing is going right. So let's go kick the red ball and be creepy in Target. Come on. It'll be fun if I can get out of the car. not acting in concert with my brain today. Energy drink. Stat. Sorry, Eddie.
for luck. series though. Three dollars and nineteen cents. That might be a deal. This, this is a great figure if you can find it <laughs> good luck Bummer. Drove all this way for nothing. didn't work, Ball. All you had to do was provide luck, and you didn't work. All right. Onward. Forward. Upward. It's a beautiful day. Um, I'm going to hit the Ross because... Uh, a few eagle-eyed viewers have been going through there and clearing house on some stuff <laughs> and I'd like to thank all of you for the heads up that Ross is getting active right now is good because most of the box stores are clearing out all their stock to um, head into the next season so let's go over to Ross it's literally right over there but of course I am going to bring my car over there would you think I was going to walk <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Have you seen me walk? It is always... It is always a dig. 12 bucks. They used to go for 10 or 11, I'm thinking. But I'm, it's been so long since I bought a Fortnite.
morning. <laughs> no need to call me sir. I, I'm just a toy. I'm just looking for toys like you. That's a really big chewy. These are fantastic figures, by the way. Um, I'm not really, I am not really a Star Wars fan, but wow, five bucks, not bad. Five bucks for that figure is an excellent price. They got a lot. There's a bunch of them. And a summons. But no, those those place cool figures are great. They are um, they're really big. They take a beating. One thing I would say. Rather than stand there and explain what was going on, I thought I would give that woman and her kids time in the toy aisle. <laughs> Next stop. Gonna try the Lanny Freddy. Haven't been out here in a little while. Let's see what they got. It's a striking resemblance to Andre. Don't you think? Um, if you're new to our channel, I'm going to take advantage of this time real quick to talk about Schleich because they're not, they don't have any music on in the Freddy right now, which is great. Um, Schleich makes dinosaur figures, but they also do fantasy stuff, obviously, which I've been showing you incessantly for a second. Um, but, oh, Annie. Oh. There's a new one to acquire. That's, this is brand new. This is from last year. See, we're big fans of this toy company at our house because they make fantastic stuff and they do just regular wildlife and farms and stuff. If you're not wanting to bring any of that other stuff into your home, um, Wow, they actually have quite a stock of stuff lately. <laughs> Zero right in. That's cool. Uh, but not really why I'm here. I'm more here for this. wanted me to look for tech decks or no it was the Hot Wheels equivalent so I actually I have to look at something that I have previously been making fun of because a friend of mine has requested it and though I make fun of him from time to time and I give him a hard time. Wow, that's an impressive setup. <laughs> Look, they're glossy and new and nobody's touched them or scuffed them up. That's really pretty. Um, anyway, I make fun of Andre, but he's a good dude. He's a good dude and now a good dad. And so I will do him a solid. Nicole Combis. Um, this Jurassic Park set. I did find that Dodge Airflow a while ago. Um, last week, I think it 
was. Uh, it's kind of a cool looking ride, but I didn't have any use for it. Oh, there's the, the Megalo Gigantilosaurus. Solor, Solorus. And Falcon. I'm surprised that's a super hot casting. Everybody's buying it. Speaking of Andre, Halo figures, which I love. I absolutely love this line here. These are so much fun. Um, mm. 10 bucks on the Fortnites. It's not bad. I think that's what they run most of the time. Uh, Andre. Almost feel like the world is pushing me. Oh. Come on. That is so cute. And he's gonna want one. Monsters millions. <sighs> okay, ooh. Oh look, Bakugan. Cool. Instant Castilian. That's cool. I'm glad that they have them up front. Alright, let's check this last bit of. <sighs> nope. I guess we're out of here. Mm -hmm. No dodges. Those things are all gone. Those airflows have been picked over, man. Okay, well. Bye, Freddie Meyer. I'll see you next time. Once again, for luck. Let's see what we got. Wayback Machine. Watch it, Deadpool. That's actually kind of cool. So, 
everybody scream and cry as I walk away from the Forza Horizons. Someday. Boy, they got a lot of weed. Mm. Okay. Only gonna say this once. We don't need this. We don't need this. Nobody wants this. Okay. Please stop making it. Monster jam coming out, please, sometime. Okay. Tuck, tuck, but. None of that. They don't have any of the uh, pretender stuff, Andre. Not at the Target, anyway. Um, hmm. I just did a review of this figure on the channel last week. Check it out. About the gold label. Mm. Mm. The Superman it looks like he's pushing one. Okay. What the bloody hell? <laughs> All right. Busted it. Just that's kind of fun. Huge ass Optimus Prime. Hmm. All right, then nothing happening in the diecast. Ew. Somebody's gonna scream at me for walking away from that. I can tell right now. She got me up front. I agree. That child speaks for us all. Let's go check the collector's crap and get out of here. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Let's see. <laughs> Full weapon set, but no armor. get dirty every time. I hear he's a real jerk too. That's pretty hip. That guy from Jane's Addiction. 
Oh, one more case, happy. So I think that's supposed to be Forrest Whitaker. I think that's his character. Rogue One is the only decent Star Wars movie ever made because everybody dies. Spoiler. So, kicking the red ball, providing absolutely nothing.
right, one thing I'm definitely going to admit to, I'm going to cop to this right off the top, is that last night I let time get away from me and I did not complete this in one day's filming, so I had to kind of put up uh, some other footage that I had instead of putting this stuff up. So I have broken this back to um, a stage that I believe is about right. Um, and I am going to try to rebuild it. But here's the, here's the, the takeaway from this, kids. Do not try to work on something when you're frustrated. Just step away from it and come back when you have breath and time to deal with it because um, otherwise you make vast and idiotic mistakes. And um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to get back to this. Let's do it. So you ready for the unveiling of this? I'm finally finished with it. Ready? What do you think? That's what I think. I think that this kit sucks. Uh, it's the first time I'm gonna say that about a Lego product, I think, in my life. But this absolutely blows. They have a gray part listed where there only was a white part left and it was the right size, but nothing was at. Seriously, this thing, it got to me. So I am going to break it all back down into individual pieces. I already begun that process by trying to figure out where I went wrong. Um, but uh, I'm gonna say thumbs down on this. I'm not incompetent at Lego. I like to make like I am, but I'm not. And um, when it comes down to this kit, uh, I think that probably what happened was is that there's some steps that are not well described. And uh, perhaps some of you have had that interesting phenomenon happen to you with a Lego kit. I, like I said, I am going to break this all the way down and I'm going to come at it another day, maybe. Um, but this kit, avoid it. All right, well, that's the end of that saga and I am not going to attempt it again for a very long time, a very long time. It's gonna be put in a Ziploc bag and probably just thrown into my pieces and parts bag. I just, that's how mad I got at this kit. I can follow steps and uh, I wasn't hurrying or anything and it still managed to lose me somewhere, somehow, I don't know. Anyway, um, that's what we got for you on this electrifying episode of Monkey Shine Lab, everybody. Can't always win them. Ooh, you have no idea how angry I am right now. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye.